Welcome to Ucanic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Ucanic scanner to turn on your fan right there. So let's take a look. What you want to do is you want to select your make and model, then you come to control unit, go to drive, go to motor electronics. The next thing is to go to active test, go to scroll down to engine and AC electric suction fan with integrated control M4 slash 7. So on a different model, it might have a slightly different name. You can see the load right now. I have it on a 50%, but you can press plus. Go to up to about 90%. And you can actually hear that. You can hear the fan, and then you can go down. All the way down to 20%. 10% actually. And so I said lower limit is reached. Um, one thing to keep in mind, ignition needs to be on. Engine does not need to be started, but ignition does have to be on. Your dash lights should be on when you are uh, running this test. And uh, that's it, pretty simple. You can uh, check the uh, fan, just make sure there's nothing there on the fan because so you don't get injured or anything like that, the fan. Um, test it, make sure you can spin freely before you run this test. Uh, a lot sometimes uh, the fan could be seized up. So, um, if you spin it before you even turn on the ignition or do anything to turn it on, make sure that the fan can spin. If the fan does not spin, the fan itself, fan motor can be faulty. You could also have wiring issues, uh, less likely, but it's possible, and also the the fan relay can also be defective. Those are three of the most common issues. And then, of course, there can be a few other ones, like a bad ECU, things of that nature. But uh, most likely, you're going to start uh, inspect that um, fan itself because that motor, the fan motor, goes bad quite quite often. That's it. Thank you for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.